Good morning, everyone. It is Sunday and we are in Newark. This is uh, kind of like literally maybe across the freeway from Fremont where we used to live a year ago. So this is considered a local show. This is the first time this person is having this show. If you saw my previous video, we did an interview with him and we kind of promote this show. It's supposed to be a lot of vendors. Doesn't look like there's a lot of people out here right now. It's about 10 o'clock. So the show's been going on for about an hour and a half already. We're running a little bit late. I wasn't expecting to be super busy. But let's see, go take a look inside. I hope there's Pokemon. Not looking for anything in particular. We're just looking for good deals as usual. So I do have my wife with me. She'll play cameraman today. Let's see what we can find. I'm excited. Like I said, we have a bunch of videos coming out for the next month, month and a half, we got shows lined up. This is the second week of shows. Uh, yesterday, we went to the game store flea market. If you haven't seen that video, I would definitely recommend that. Picked up a bunch of stuff. This weekend has just been completely packed with buy, buy, buy. So, see if we can pick up anything today. Uh Alright, so we're here at the show. I'm gonna make a Pokemon deal with Alexa. I'm gonna pick up some shiny Pokemon for $20. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. We need this for our set. We got my boy Desmond Bane. All these for five bucks. boxes 50 a piece got this for free all right we got a close deal Alamello red wine blue prism Alabert mojo prism for 40 bucks thank you so much thank you always good deal thank you So we're closing a big deal. We picked up eight of the 2019 Panini Prism Kobe Bryant with my man. Sports Car Orlando. This is my guy, Lalo Barber. Thanks guys, appreciate it. Appreciate it, thank you so thank much. You, man. I appreciate it, man. Good to meet you. Right, so just finished the show spent about i would say it was like three four hours saw a bunch of vendors that we've normally seen it was good to see everyone out there made a big deal with pokemon cards including the booster box that we bought for 50 dollars each and i got two of them which which was an amazing deal and we and we got a free psa 9 rj barrett included with the deal probably the highlight of the show not too many people it didn't seem like the person who's hosting it had you know a lot of advertisement which is understandable i think for his first show i think it was a decent turnout a lot of vendors i'm really happy about that so if they had another show with free admission and a free market in the back if they had another show in the area we definitely would go i think the next show is in may so we're probably looking forward to that other than that we will go over everything we bought we bought a lot of sports cards actually we spent a lot of time in value bins making deals great deals with all the people that we know we will go over everything we picked up when we get back inside the house we're back from the show and now we can go over everything we picked up. We'll start off with the sports cards that we picked up from the show. First deal of the day was this Amanda Nunes Topps Chrome Refractor. Got it for $5. Next deal, we picked up these two cards for $25. Tyrese Halliburton Silver Prism and a National Treasures number 99 Trey Young. 
It's not his rookie card. For $25 for both of these, can't really go wrong. Next three lot of cards are some Prism from 2020. Silver Prism, Kyler Murray, Snapshot, Justin Tucker, White Prism, Die Cut, and a 2020 Prism Silver Rookie card. Got all three of these cards for $5. Picked up some Value Bin cards. Got all of these for a dollar each. There are six cards, so a little bit less than a dollar. Can't really beat that. Some rookie cards for a dollar. Pick this up from a $2 bin. Each of these cards are $2. Some well-known names. Some color prism die cuts. Picked up some Jordan Love. Jordan Love, uh, from our experience, sells pretty well. We've picked up a lot of the die cuts and we've flipped them for a decent amount of profit. And a Crown Royale Ayers Denny. All of these cards for $20. Next three cards I got for $25. Got a Kobe Bryant Green Prism, Joey B rookie card, and another Joey B from 2020 Select. All these for $25. Next pickup was a great deal. I got a rated rookie Donner's Optic and Thaney Mojo Tyrese Halliburton rookie card, and a LaMelo Ball Red, White, and Blue Prism. Both of these cards from the professor for $40, $20 a pop. Great deals. Looking for these kind of deals all the time. Can't go wrong with these kind of deals. Some more value bins. Picked up a couple of Jonathan Taylor Prism rookie cards. He was trying to get them for $3 each. Picked up both of them for 5 And the last bit, we picked up some slabs. These are all Kobe Bryant 2019 prism cards they're all in psa 9 he was trying to sell them for 15 each story is, is that there was one on the table kind of picking up kobe and psa 9 for 15 dollars is really a no-brainer he said he had more picked up all of this for 120 i've sold a couple of 2019 prism kobe bryant slabs before so i know these sold really well so getting these at 15 dollars a piece like I said, with PSA prices really high right now and no longer having the economy bulk pricing discount at $10 a slab, getting them graded already and have them at a PSA 9 for $15 is kind of a no-brainer for me. Moving on to Pokemon buys that we picked up. Got this small lot off of someone who made her first deal at a card show. Shout out to Alexa. Picked up all of these cards for twenty dollars these are just our bulk buying prices picked up these two cards from a pokemon dealer that i saw from the previous week at the westgate silicon valley sports card show he actually flagged my wife and i down from across the hall saying that he had bulk for me so i asked him if i could look through his stuff first and pick up some quick stuff i asked him if we can pick up the bulk later as we didn't want to carry it around with us during the show in the meantime, I picked up these two Tag Team GX Pokemon cards. Picked up both of these Tag Team GX Pokemon cards for $6 total, so $3 each. And we found someone who was willing to deal in bulk. Picked up just a bunch of Pokemon V cards. I asked him if he would be willing to sell us in bulk. He even looked up a couple of cards. I told him, you know, if there was, if there was something he was uncomfortable of selling to us at all bulk buying prices, feel free to remove him. But it looks like he checked the comps and seems like he was willing to get rid of everything. I even got his Instagram so we can meet up later if he wanted to sell me more bulk in the future. So I picked up all of these Pokemon cards at our bulk buying prices of about 50 cents for each Pokemon card. I think there were a couple cards that were a dollar. So his total bulk deal was for $30. And here's a deal that takes the cake for the day. Picked up these two battle style booster boxes. These are sealed booster boxes for that's right, $50 each. This is super undervalued. I think even the distributor prices are going for around $80. I'm pretty sure right now on the market you can buy the booster boxes for $90. It looks like this vendor was just trying to liquidate what they had because these were the last two boxes. In fact, I was actually going to skip this vendor because they were all the way in the corner, but it's a great thing that I made sure to take a look at what they had. Otherwise, I would have passed up on this amazing opportunity. We picked up all of these bulk Pokemon from the same vendor who had bulk Pokemon cards last week. It's about 3,000 cards. We haven't gone through it yet, so there might be reverse hollows or hollows in here that we need to pull out. So all of these cards are for $80, and the vendor still said he had more. So we liked dealing with this vendor. He was super nice, and he was enthusiastic about Pokemon cards just as much as we were. 
And pretty much that concludes all everything we picked up from the show. I believe they're having another one in May. Because it is local to us, we're always willing to go to local shows, especially with gas prices skyrocketing. We're more willing to drive to local shows as opposed to driving further. Hope you guys all enjoyed the video and content. And until next time, guys, stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you guys all in the next video.